Alright, in this video I'm going to be doing a bit of a challenge video and I'm going to be seeing how many coins I can make by just trading with bronze players in FIFA 20. If you enjoy this video and you enjoy this concept and you want to see me do this with silver players, get this to over 400 likes in the next... I'll probably be recording about 12 tomorrow, so just, just get 400 likes as soon as possible. Let's get into this video. To get the cheapest FIFA coins on the internet, make sure to go and check out Mule Factory. I've left a link in the description and a discount code as well. You can get 100,000 FIFA coins for just £8. Eight quid. Eight, eight quid for 100,000 FIFA coins. Go and check them out. They're 100% reliable. I've used them so, so much. Make sure to use the code LE5CHEAP at checkout and let's get into the video. Hello, what is going on guys? Ellie 96 and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a trading challenge, just trading with bronze players and seeing how many coins I can actually make with these bronze players. Not too sure how well this is going to go, but I'm going to run you through all the rules and how everything's going to be going in just a little sec. But if you do want to win 4,600 FIFA points, today is the last day to get your entries in. All you guys need to do to be in with the chance of winning that is like this video, comment down below, well, comment on as many videos as you can do and subscribe if you're new. And I'll be announcing that in tomorrow's video or the day after, I think. So make sure to do all of that. Sick. So guys, what I'm actually going to be doing is setting up a timer on my phone for half an hour. Now within this half an hour, I'm actually going to be using three different trading methods, all involving bronze players and seeing how many coins I can make. I'm hoping to make a pretty decent amount of coins and I think that is the challenge really. I've got three different methods to show you guys and I'm going to go through for the full half an hour and showing you guys all of the best bits along the way and basically going through and seeing how many coins I can make. I've got three methods, so I think I'm going to go through for 10 minutes each method, leave all the players up to sell for an hour. If they don't sell on after the hour, then they don't count for the challenge, but I'm hopefully going to be able to see how many coins I can make just in half an hour just using bronze players. So, Let's get into it. So guys, I've got the timer set up on my phone right now for 30 minutes and I'm going to be starting the timer in 3, 2, 1. The timer has started as you can see right there. Hopefully my camera will focus. And we are going to be starting off with the first method in this video and it is going to be bronze left forward and right forward sniping now the only stipulation that i've got in this challenge is that it has to be a bronze card so if it's a special bronze card it still counts so what i'm actually going to be doing to start off with is just going to be going through and trading with left forward bronze cards so i'm going to see how much the minimum is on all of these in left forward right now for the bronze cards now i'm honestly not too sure how much these are even going for as you can see it looks like someone's actually trying to price fix right here on left forward bronze cards because they've uh, they've never traded before they don't know what they're doing and they think you know what i'm gonna price fix bronze left forwards for whatever reason but i think the minimum price right now is around 1100 on all of these right now so let me just take a look yeah it is 1100 is there anything up at 1.2 okay there's a couple things up at 1.2 i'm not too sure how much these are really worth if anything but i'm actually going to try and get them for cheaper than 1.2 so i'm going to go through and do some i think i'm going to do some sniping this way or no you know what i'm actually going to back out and i'm just going to do some sniping at a thousand coins at bronze left forward for the next sort of 10 minutes or so and hopefully i'll see something so let's jump into it all right as you can see it's 2336 right now and I've seen absolutely nothing. So I'm going to try and change this up just to see something else. I'm going to go for right forwards, I think. Maybe right forwards will pop up with bronzes. Then again, though, I'm honestly not too sure. Right forward, 800 coins there. Anything cheaper than 800 coins? Okay, that 800 coins one is actually the cheapest. It's not been up too long. I don't know, though. 54 rated is... Is anyone really asked about a 54 rated right forward? I don't think that they are. So I'm going to go through and try and snipe at... I don't know. Maybe... 650 see if I can just make some coins with that and sell it on <laughs> Honestly, I, I need to make some coins. Uh, I think that's a deal. I think that's a deal oh, I really don't know. I saw English Bundesliga. Is it the Bundesliga? Oh, no, it's not. It's German too. Right, I might have just panic bought a player. Doesn't matter. Chuck him over to the transfer list, then we're going to get into the next method. Now, let me take a look over here to see Oh. Okay, right. 
I think what we're going to do is going to go bronze and we're going to go over to chemistry style and we're going to go over to hunter. We're going to go and see how much these are going for in hunter. I just want to show you guys right now the clock. We're wasting quite a bit of time here. We are wasting a lot of time. I've got a feeling that my method at the end should make me quite a few coins however let's take a look at bronze hunter how much are these guys going for right now 3k nothing there anything else come on come on come on 3.4 3.5 okay so i'm going to try and get myself a bronze card with a hunter chem style and hopefully i will be able to make some coins from that so the minimum price is 3.4k i'm going to go for 3.1 I've honestly not a clue how much we're going to make from bronzes with hunter chem styles on them, if anything. I'm going to go through for probably around 7 minutes. I'm not too sure because I do want to get as many bids as I possibly can do for the last method, which I'll show you guys in just a little sec. But, bronze hunter, please give me something decent. So far, we've seen nothing. We've panic bought a player and it's all going pear-shaped. Brilliant. Boys, it is really, really not looking good here. I have been sniping for the past sort of like seven minutes and I have seen not one, not two, but zero cards. I've seen nothing. Look, I'm just going to show you. I'm going to show you. Look at the timer right now. My battery's low. Brilliant. But nine minute 30 is what we've got left. So... I need to bring out the bloody big guns here. Right, sod off these awful trading methods. Left forward and right forward doesn't work for bronze cards. Hunter and any other chem styles don't work for bronze cards, but I'll tell you what does. Max price, 500 coins. Min buy now, 1,000. Set it to bronze. Search upon the market. And this is exactly what we're going to do for the last 10 minutes. I'm going to bid on as many cards as I possibly can do. And I'm going to take a risk as well. So, what we're looking for right now is any cards with a bid on them. Anyone who has a bid on them. So, I'm just going to keep looking through until I find something. This guy's got a bid on him he's having a bid from me as well this guy has a bid on him he's having another bid on him i'm just going to go through and just fill my transfer targets or transfer list or whatever it is with as many of these bronze cards as i possibly can do and just anyone who looks like that they could be going for something now when i'm looking at these players what i'm looking for is the nationality the individual stats anything like that I'm trying to think as well if they're as part of an sbc for example buy a muni player without a bid on them 150 coins i'm going to be dropping a bid on that definitely usually i just go for any players who already have bid on them however if i know they're in sbcs drop a bid on them as well so let's keep looking through hopefully we can find something is there anything else anything else it may be worth me actually just filtering through individual leagues just to see if i can find anything else maybe like the premier league league going Serie A, whatever it may be so i'm just going to keep cycling through keep cycling through this guy I, pff, I have not a clue how much he's going for but he's having a bid on him at 150 coins who else oh this guy here with the massive her you've got a bid on you you can have another one on you. I'm not even too sure how much these are going to be going for, but I'm hoping that we can make something. We're starting off on 48,000 coins. If we can make 50,000 coins just off bronze players, that'd be sick, obviously. I mean, it's 2,000 coins profit. It's not the best, but there we go. 250 on that guy. So we're going to back out now, and we're going to set this back over to bronze, set this to the Premier League, and search up on the market. As you can see, though, Prem, there's absolutely nothing, which is brilliant. Let's take a look in the next league, where we're going to be going league earn 500 coins. So we've got a couple of cards here with bids on them. I'm going to drop another bid on a few of these guys, so you can have a bid on you. What about yeah, you? Why not? 150 coins. It looks like league earned could actually be a decent league to do this with i should be checking the individual player prices but it's fine it's absolutely fine so we've got you as well who else have we got you as well 150 coins i mean you from psg you can have a bit on from me thank you very much who else have we got in here who else have we got okay cool syria looks sorted let's go over to the bronze and we're going to go over to syria did i say syria then i meant league and regardless we're going to go over here and we're going to go to this guy 200 coins to 50. I think I'm getting outbid on quite a few of these cards, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. However, we're going to keep dropping bids on as many cards as we possibly can do. Some of these cards do actually look pretty decent, to be honest. Nice little starter players for your starter squad. Who else can we go to? So, back over to bronze. We're going to go over to the Bundesliga. Lovely stuff. Is there anybody from the Bundesliga who we can get? You, 450 coins. 250 coins. 450 coins. Who else? Who else? Who else? You, 150. You, no. You, 200 coins. Lovely. Left mid. 
250. We're going to jump back over here, go over to bronze, and we're going to go for La Liga Santander. I just want to get all the popular leagues out of the way and just make sure that we've got as many from the popular leagues as we can do. So you, 150 coins, 200 coins. Who else, who else, who else? No one else. Okay, cool. So I think with this now, I'm going to jump back over to bronze any and then just see if we can see anything else and i'm just going to be focusing on players now who have bids on them so i've just seen one there who had a bid on him at 150 coins drop a bid on him at 200 coins i'm getting out bid on a couple of cards but it's absolutely no problem because we're still going to be making coins on something so let's take a look take a look take a look anything really seem like there is anything else this definitely works a lot better with silver players i did see one there with a bid on him where has he gone where's he gone sick did i did i i don't even know anymore you 150 coins drop a bit on at 200 taking a look at the clock as well we've got around five minutes remaining so we've got more than enough time to take a look at all of these cards and i want to ideally fill my transfer targets with all of these cards it's going to be a lot of cards to go through but it's it is what it is and it? it's just one of them so let's keep looking through keep looking through is there anything else come on please show me something just give me something got you german guy 250 now with some of these i know for a fact that i'll be overpaying for some of them however some of them i will be getting bids on so it will make up for some of the cards that i have actually overpaid on if i've overpaid for any i'll just sell them for what the minimum price is we will make a loss on them but it's not the biggest problem in the world, but I'm just hoping that I can find some other players. Any of these cards that pop up, I'm always dropping bids on. This one's got a bid there at 300 coins, which I'm not really too sure that I like the look of, considering his next one up is 700 coins. So we're just going to leave that one and keep working our way through. You have got a bid at 150. You need a bid at 150. Anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? Oh, we found another there. 150 coins. Lovely. We'll drop a bid on him. Is there anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Let's take a look. Okay, so this guy's getting outbidded for whatever reason. How much he's going for? 4.2k. What? Surely not. Surely he's not going for 4.2k. So I'll drop a bid at 300, 400? Yeah, 400 maybe. I, I'm honestly not too sure. Why is it taking so long when I'm doing a time trialed trading challenge? It decides we're just going to take ages to load. Oh, lovely stuff. I've been outbid. Thank you. Thank you very much. How much is this guy going for? Add him to the transfer tags. What's his name? Mandroy? Man... 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 Droy? Is that how you... This guy? How much are you going for? Okay, so there's nothing up at 2.2... Wow. We may have found a very, very good play. He's going for 3.5k. Where is he? I need to win this card. I want this card. We've been outbid on quite a few different cards. Where is he? A thousand coins? Oh my god. He's going for 1.3k on the market right now. 1.4k. For whatever reason, this guy is going up in price. Maybe he's just being price fixed. I'm honestly not too sure. 1.5k though. On an open bid. 1.6. I sort of do want to go for him, but I don't want to waste all my time on him. Uh, 1.7 oh no okay it's coming in and i'm gonna drop a bit at 1.8 and hopefully i win this at 1.8 but that's honestly the highest i'm willing to go let's jump back over to the transfer market and see if we can get anything else taking a look at the timer right now we have literally got less than a minute remaining so now is the time to get any last bids in that i possibly can do i think i'll probably have been outbid on that guy who we were looking at before so let's run through all of these is there anybody else anyone else with a bid on who or anyone who looks decent can't even talk properly come on let's hopefully get someone please please okay two black cards that's good that's good i will take two of them i will definitely take two of them if i can get them anything else anything else anything else come on please just give me someone just give me someone who's who's price fixed on an open bid for like 200 coins i get him at 250 and sell him on for like 4k or something is there anybody else? I honestly don't think there is going to be. I feel like the time is going to go off in a little second. We've got 10, 9, 8, 7. Come on, please give me someone. Give me someone. Anybody. The time is going to go off. It just is, isn't it? it... So let's jump over to the transfer targets and see who we got them. So jumping over to our transfer targets, we have managed to win 22 different players. Now, if we take a look at our transfer list as well, I managed to get myself an Amici in right forward at 850 coins. This guy seems to be going for around 200 coins, if that. This guy, I honestly don't think that he will really be going for anything. So I'm going to list him up at 1,000 coins. It's not the best. It really isn't the best. I wouldn't recommend using that left forward and right forward method for bronze players. Likewise with the chem 
gem stars. The best way to make coins with bronze cards, in my opinion, is the method that we tried at the end. But we started off on 48,000 coins. We're currently on around 41,500. And we've actually managed to win quite a few decent cards by the looks of things right here. Have we managed to win that Republic of Ireland guy, though? I don't think we have. I think people are still actually outbidding me on that. Where is he? This guy. There you go. 1.9k he went for in the end. Jesus. So I'm going to remove all of these expired ones right here and we are going to jump into the ones which I have actually won and take a look at the individual player prices and just see if we can do anything with it. So first up we've got Mascara, goalkeeper who is going for 600 coins, 500 coins, anything cheaper than that, anything cheaper than that, let's take a look. Looking like 500 coins, one there at 200 coins. Ah, uh, damn it. I could be really cheeky and just pick that one up and sell mine on... Oh, no, I'm not going to. 200 coins. Damn it. Next up, we have actually managed to get one of these cards for 150 coins. One of the Commabel cards. I'm not too sure what these ones are actually called or Copper Libertores or whatever they're called. 900 coins this guy's going for. 900, 700, anything cheaper than that. Nothing cheaper than 700 coins. So we can list ours up at 600 coins, which is actually pretty decent considering we got it at 150. Nice 500 coin profit. This guy was a Fulham player at 250 coins who is now going for around 750 anything cheaper than that let's take a look let's keep scrolling through 600 coins anything cheaper anything cheaper 600 600 600 i reckon he's probably going for around 500 coins 450 750 500 300 sick so he can only list this one up at 300 coins because we got undercut quite a bit on that one damn it falcon next up though Italian goalkeeper, 600 coins cheapest. Taking a look through the rest of his prices though, I think 600 is probably around his average price. I reckon he's probably going at minimum price around 450 coins if I had to guess. Quite a lot of this guy up on the market as well. He looks like he's quite saturated and I've not seen anything cheaper so far on the buy now price at the bottom of the screen. Just make sure to keep checking that if there's anything cheaper. But this guy, 600 coins. It looks like maybe someone's relisting him, but we got him at 300. So I'll list mine up at 500 coins. Undercut the cheapest one on the market. Like Langford got for 200 coins or Langford or whatever this guy's name is. Not too sure how much he's going for. 2.4k. Surely he's not going for this much. 2k. I mean, what? The cheapest that I can find of this guy is 2,000 coins. I can't find anything cheaper than 2,000 coins. We got him at 200 coins. I'll, I'll list him up for just 1.1k. Next up, we've got Kiprit, who we got for 450 coins. His minimum price right now... 700 coins, 800 coins. I reckon he's probably going to be going for around. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to list this guy up for 600 coins. Bit annoying, bit annoying, but what can you do? Next up is Ibanez, who is someone who we spent quite a bit on at 550 coins. Let's take a look how much he's going for. I think his minimum price is 1,000 coins, 950. Anything cheaper than that? No. So we can list him up for 800 coins. So. Slowly but surely, we are turning a profit on quite a few of these players, which is quite good. However, next up is this guy at 250 coins. There's one there, an open bid at 300 coins, who I'm actually going to drop a bid on at 350 and see if I can get another deal. But his next one up is 500 coins, 450, damn it. So this one can only really go up for 400 coins, bit annoying. Also got Al Schwez, Al Schwez, Al Schwez, that's what we'll call him. Minimum price, 1,000 coins, anything cheaper, 700 coins. I think we got this guy for 200, I think it was. So we're probably going to be turning a pretty decent profit on this one overall, 650, so... Let's go for 500 coins on this guy. We've got the first one of this card. We actually got two of this guy at 200 coins. Next one up is 250. What a waste of coins that was. List him up for 250 and then go over to his other card as well and list that up at 250. We've made a bit of an L on that one, which it's a bugger. It is a bugger, but it does happen. We've got Zekaj, who is going for 600 coins. 650, 600, 950. Okay, cool. So I'll list him up at... 450 coins because we got him at 150. Not really too sure why I dropped a bid on that one to be honest. I think I just had a feeling that he would go for something. Likewise with this guy at 150. His next one up is 400 coins. I'm just going to list them up for 250 coins. We've got Bennett's as well at 450 from Berisha Much and Gladbach for 450 coins. His next one up is looking like 700 coins, 600. Damn it. We're not probably going to be turning a profit with this Bennett's, unfortunately, because I think his minimum price is around 600 coins and he's getting price fixed as well. 
and this has happened. Sick. Let's them up though for 550 coins. Next up is going to be some more of these Coma Bell players. I got this one at 150 coins. His next one up is 800. Anything cheaper than 800 up on the market right now doesn't look like there is. So we could actually sell this one on for around 700 coins if there's not anything else up at the minute. 750, 850, 800. 850, come on, come on, come on. Anything else, just get to the end. Just get to the end. I wish there was a quicker way to do this. There probably is going to the market, but I'm not doing that. 700 coins though, and I can list mine up for 600 coins, lovely. And then we've got another one of these Comma Bell players as well at 150. And every time I saw one of these, I just dropped a bid at 150, but he's going for like 450. So I'll list this up at 250. Next up is this guy who I've got for 200 coins. Next one up is 1.1K, anything cheaper than 1.1K. Okay, we could have actually got pretty lucky with this one. Nine 100 coins okay yeah that one's actually pretty good 200 coins we paid and we can list this one up at 750 coins so we've made some profit there as well i think we should be sort of averaging out with everything that we've spent but we've got another one of these guys as well i'm going to list up at 700 next up we've got this guy from lazio with 72 pace he's going for 700 coins and we got him at 450 i can't imagine that he's going for much so i'll list him up at 550 next up is this galatasaray player at cdm who we got for 300 coins and he's actually going for 750 700 anything cheaper than that let's take a look 700 coins cool i'll list mine up at 600 coins last two players now though we've got this goalkeeper caston at 200 coins absolutely pointless deal annoying but whatever and we've also got this log i think he's called at 300 coins who doesn't have a contract on him so good luck selling that one but those are all the players that we did actually manage to get with that last trading method and i've actually managed to get myself another card here but, jumping over to the transfer list, we managed to sell eight of these cards already, all these ones right here. However, I'm going to go through for the full hour mark and leave these up to sell on, and hopefully they will sell on pretty soon. Some of these cards have actually been up for quite a while now, but we have got some room for profit here. Hopefully, we will be making some coins, and I think our card at Hunter, has that one sold on? No, it's this one right here, not Hunter, right forward it was, wasn't it? So, all these cards listed up, so I'll be back in a sec once they've all sold on, or if They've not sold on. We'll talk about that as well. So, see you in a sec. All right. We're back. Went and had some Pop-Tarts. I've had a good hour. I've had a very, very good hour. Jumping over to our transfer list, though, you will be able to see in the top left that we are now on 51,956 coins, which means that we have made, from this challenge, around 4,000 coins, roughly. And here are all the players that have actually sold on, as you can see right here. Pretty much all of these players, well... All of these players, besides this guy, <laughs> actually came from our last trading method. So I managed to make around 4,000 coins in 10 minutes, but considering I had half an hour to do it, it's pretty poor, to be honest. Pretty poor. If I was going to do this again, I would definitely probably just use the last method that I used. As you can see right here, these two guys didn't actually sell on, but if they did, I, I hardly even bloody make anything. It's just pittance, absolute pittance. So let's just call it 52k for the sake of this video. So we made around 4,000 coins just by using bronze players. Again, if I was going to do this again, I'd definitely use the last method. I wouldn't really bother with the other ones. But if you have a go at using this, let me know down in the comment section how many coins that you do actually make. Or if you want to do this challenge, give yourself half an hour. You've just got bronze players. And let me know down in the comment section how many coins that you can make in half an hour using bronze players. But that is where I'm going to be wrapping up this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to drop a like on this video and get the like target, which I set at the start of this video as well. Make sure to go and follow me on Instagram. There is a link in the description as well on Twitter. Go and follow me over there and subscribe if you're new. Go and watch some more videos. I know you've definitely got the time to do it. But this Betty Six, this has been a bronze player trading challenge thing. And I am off. Goodbye.